Compass Tools is going to show you how to use the Trimble R2 GNSS in Terraflex software on an Apple device. Step one is to make sure you have a compatible Apple device. At the time of this recording, iPhone 6s and 5s and some of the iPads and iPad minis were supported. And step two is to turn the R2 on. Uh, it's only got one button. Go ahead and fire it up and then we'll jump over to an Apple device. For this recording we're using an iPad mini but the workflow should be the same on other Apple devices and we're going to go for settings and we're going to turn on the Bluetooth and because the R2 is turned on it will show up as available. If it's the first time you've connected to it it'll show down here but this one here is my R2 and we'll connect to it and we're connected so we can jump out of the settings and jump into Terraflex once inside of Terraflex we'll select our project and then go for the settings and it's using the internal and we want to do better so we're going to use the R2 that we just paired by Bluetooth. We'll go back to the settings and check on the location status and you can see we're using the R2 uh, only getting about four feet of accuracy that is because we need to go back to settings and enable a real-time configuration but uh, that's not configured on the handheld that's configured in Trimble and Sphere so you can pull up any web browser and go to trimbleandsphere.com log in uh, there is a free 30-day trial if you don't own this software but once you're logged in you'll click on your organization then click on real-time configurations and we'll go ahead and build a new one add a configuration we'll call this iPad SBAS so there's a couple sources of real-time correction for the R2 uh, SBAS is free and easy it's a real-time correction that should get you submeter accuracy RTX is a similar service from Trimble these are both satellite based and it would be helpful if you could see south um, but if you're in a heavy canopy maybe an RTX correction over the internet would work better or if you're near a VRS network or a single base RTK you can input those settings there but we'll go for SBAS and the last thing we need to do is link it to a project the one we're working in so we'll scroll down and link it to one project or several projects and we'll jump back over to the iPad here in Terraflex we'll have to go back to the home screen back to settings and do a sync but then that real-time correction will be available to us so we'll go back into settings and click on real-time configuration and there it is iPad SBAS now we can go back to the location status and see that with the R2 on the iPad with the SBAS real-time correction I'm getting 32 inch accuracy through my window so we can now start mapping uh, the R2 is better than 32 inches but uh, I won't get that accuracy until I step outside and start mapping but I can collect a pretend point and the nice thing is Terraflex shows your real-time accuracy right here so if 31 inches is good enough you can record that or you can wait for better geometry 
But again, I'm indoors, so 31 inches real-time accuracy is pretty good. So that's it for this recording. If you have any questions, you might check out blog.compasstoolsinc.com or for specific questions, go ahead and email us at support at compasstoolsinc.com.